sweet, savory, and full of flavor. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to Sancocho. Let's make it, shall we? Welcome to my workshop. So the story goes that Sancocho originated in the Canary Islands of Spain. Colonizers brought it to the Caribbean and to Latin America. Every country since then has adjusted the recipe to their own traditions and flavors. Today I'm presenting the Puerto Rican version. For the cold weather coming up, this is the best cure for homesickness. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is the stock. In my experience, this is the most important part of any Sancocho, and it's probably the biggest difference between my Sancocho and everybody else's. The stock is gonna be the vessel of flavor to the soup. In this case, mine is gonna be made with pork and pig's feet or patitas de cerdo. You can do it with chicken, you can do it with anything you want. Originally, they even did it with seafood. So the first thing I do is to clean and wash the pig's feet. And then I'm gonna place them in boiling water. I like to take this extra step just to make sure that all the sinew or blood is removed from the pig's feet. Once it's boiling, I leave it to boil for about three to five minutes and then strain it. Now the patitas have been boiled, I'm gonna add them to the Instapot. In this case, I'm using an Instapot. You can use a pressure cooker if that is what you have available. Now let's grab the patitas and the pork and put them in the cooker together with the salt, pepper, bay leaves, chicken broth, and water. Pressure cook for 45 minutes. After it's all done, strain and reserve the stock and the meat. Make sure to debone the patitas. This is optional, you don't have to do it, but you can, and set everything aside. Now let's work on our viandas or root vegetables. I have peeled and diced everything that we're using today. Here we have the malanga, we have yuca, calabaza or pumpkin, and in this bowl, trying to keep it from oxidize, oxidizing, I have ñame, sweet potato, yam, plantain, potato, and yautia. Potato is not a very traditional ingredient in Sancocho, same with the white wine, but I use it to uh, balance flavors. Now, you'll see later. It comes out really good, so trust me on this. Over here, I have the corn. I also have the onions, green pepper, garlic, salt, oregano, turmeric, black pepper, cumin, granulated garlic, and granulated onion some cilantro, and recao. I usually don't use adobo or sazon. They're very traditional in Puerto Rican cooking, just because I like to know exactly what I'm putting in my food. I'll make my own sazon usually, and I make my own adobo. Later on, I'm gonna have a video of how to make those very easily at home. And like always, if you like using those products, you're welcome to. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I just like to use good products and I like to know what I'm putting in my food. All right, now that we have all this preparation ready, let's finally get to it. In a soup pot, make sure that it's a large one. Heat up some olive oil, add the onion, the green pepper, garlic, and the sofrito. Stir in saute for a few minutes. Once you see that the aromatics are nice and soft and they have acquired some kind of color they don't have to be brown but just some kind of color add the tomato sauce and then add all the seasonings that we mentioned before we're going to stir this and let it cook for about two three minutes we're going to add the white wine and let it reduce for another three four minutes then we're going to add the stock that we made the stock with the patitas and the pork are going to be added at this moment not the meat just the stock once it comes to a boil, we're gonna add all the root vegetables, except the pumpkin or the calabaza and the corn. Bring everything to a boil, and once it boils, add the salt and pepper to your liking. After it's been simmering for about 15 minutes, add the calabaza or the pumpkin and both meats, the pork and the patitas, and the corn. Make sure you bring it to a boil and immediately reduce the heat and simmer it for about 20 minutes. Add the cilantro and the recao and let it simmer for another five, 10 minutes. Now 
we are ready to serve the most amazing sancocho you can ever imagine. The meats are already cooked, the viandas are cooked, everything is in harmony with the stock, and the flavors are just amazing. I like to serve my sancocho with a little bit of white rice on top and some avocado. You can serve it however you like. You can serve it as a soup or with a little bit of rice or an avocado salad on the side. I had a lot of fun making this video. Brought back a lot of memories of my mother and my grandma. This is a dear dish to my heart and I think to every Puerto Rican's heart because it's soul food. We all have our favorites and we all have dishes that bring back a lot of memories of our loved ones. In my case, this is one of them. I hope you have enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. I remember my grandma used to say that a cup of this sancocho will bring back the dead. That's how good it is. <laughs> and it's true. So please make it and let me know how it goes. I would love to hear back from you and how tasty it was or it wasn't. And remember that with this one and all the other videos and recipes, you can find them under my YouTube channel, Chef Tito's Workshop. Like and share this recipe with all your loved ones and follow me in Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. It's been a lot of fun. I will see you next time. God bless. Ciao.